Abe, I'm curious how you, how you get kids of that age range to be interested long enough in the topic to learn something. And, and, and I, I think it's a very interesting topic, so I agree with you, but usually yeah. it just seems like just from experience having explained internet, computer, yeah. whatever, to people for many years now, they will turn on for a while and then as soon as you get you know, two subjects down in a 10 subject long thing, then they'll just turn off. I mean, I think right. some of it has to do with how you break it up. Like in general, like we only will do like kind of one activity for like a, and also like considering like the, the how much time you actually, how much time you actually have in a lesson. Because if someone gives you like a 40 minute classroom like period, you actually have at best 20 minutes, right? Because you have like everyone coming into class, everyone getting settled, you have everyone kind of packing up to leave. Like you, you don't actually have the amount of time you yeah. thought you had. Um, so some of it's just kind of by just, like being really clear about like what you can actually fit in a short period of time. Mm -hmm. um, and I mean, we've also been very privileged to, you know, a lot of our workshopping of this material has meant because, you know, we're not in the system as it were, has been like self-selecting audiences, right? Like we're going to after school programs. Students yeah. are choosing to be part of this like workshopping of like new material. Um, and so we've, we, like the real like kind of like rubber hitting the road moment is really in the fall and spring when like I do professional development with educators and they say like this isn't working or they will lose it. You know, it's like that. Those that's when the evaluations like really like get more kind of like free. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> is there an ultimate goal that you're working towards? Kids learn how the internet works, great. So, but is there more like a call to action that you want to drive towards? I, I think that, I think there's kind of a fun, like a, maybe, I mean, full communism, but uh, a fundamental rethinking of the ways in which, um, and maybe a more holistic approach to education about and living with technology as a whole, right? Um, because I think the idea that like, that the systems that like are increasingly dictating huge parts of how everyday life functions, at least you know, in like big cities and other parts of the world, like the fact that that's kind of like divorced from like material things and human beings and lots of other stuff, like I, I think that there is a entry point to like kind of making that more understood is just like part of the world and part of like a larger systemic thing and not just the thing that happens somewhere else and is managed by someone or something else. Um, I don't know if that was like a great answer, but I think a lot of it's like just recognizing that there are, that it's like, like to achieve a, like any kind of like major changes in like public understandings and conceptions about technology and like network systems and infrastructure, like you have to start like very, very early on. And this is stuff that, like, frankly, like, it doesn't get, like, I mean, I, I know all of this stuff just because I was, like, curious about it. Um, a lot of my peers who have computer science backgrounds knew less than I did when I started getting into it, so, yeah. Now there's a video of me on the internet saying full comments. Check that out for both of this. Thank you. Thank you.